Well, we've been dealing with periodic showers and even a few thunderstorms off and on over the course of the past two or three hours. For the time being, though, at least here in the city of Rockford, we are dry. Hopefully, this person parked downtown wasn't here when it was raining. If you know anybody who drives a black car, might be downtown Rockford, tell them their trunk's open. And if anybody's getting any ideas of doing any sort of nonsense, committing any crimes, you're on camera. Don't, don't get any ideas. Weather-wise here today, temperatures topped out anywhere between 70 and 75 degrees. 74 is considered the norm this time of year. We're in the 60s now across the board with Janesville, the lone exception. Dew points are creeping up, are in the lower middle 60s. I am a little concerned about there being some fog later on tonight just due to the relationship between the dew points and the temperatures, how close they are. But I think there will be a... Just enough wind to keep the atmosphere stirred up enough and b enough cloud cover that would prevent any sort of widespread dense fog to occur. That said, it is still something that I am going to be watching out for. In the short term, however, light rain is going to be a bit more of a concern, although it is becoming more scattered in nature. And really, I think that moving forward, scattered will be the uh, nature of, of the, the coverage of these showers and storms uh, for the next uh, several hours. I am watching a few stronger storms uh, over towards Champaign. Those are lifting northward. Now, every expectation would point towards those weakening considerably. Once the sun goes down, atmosphere stabilizes. I think we're in much, much better shape. So for tonight, occasional clouds, showers, thunderstorms, 62, maybe a, uh, maybe a, a patch or two of fog as well. But again, enough of an easterly breeze. I'm not concerned about that being a major concern, nor am I at all concerned about any severe weather concerns. Those are well, well off to the west. Now looking ahead at our Friday, I'm going to hold a shower chance in the forecast till about noontime or thereafter. Then the sky actually looks to clear at least partially, and I think we're looking really good for high school football tomorrow evening. Uh, partly cloudy skies, very pleasant temperatures, uh, tolerable levels of humidity. And here's where we talk about changes for the weekend forecast. Earlier on, we thought we were going to keep an active pattern going through the weekend. That's no longer the case. Now, Saturday is looking to feature sun splash skies. We've pulled rain chances out of the forecast. And wouldn't you know, we're going to pull rain chances out of the forecast for Sunday as well. I do think after we start off sunny, we are going to cloud over as the day progresses, but the weekend picture is much improved. There's been some modest, modest, modest improvement on the drought front, but uh, still we've got a long ways to go. And unfortunately, after tomorrow's rain chance, really not a whole lot of anything to look forward to the rest of the way. A much quieter uh, pattern is to be set into motion. Longer range, we favor a much warmer pattern and unfortunately a drier than normal pattern taking us through the opening stage of October. Friday looking like a day with high temperatures in the middle and upper 70s. I've got us topping out at 78 degrees and that's it for rain chances here. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are all dry, progressively brighter by the day. And an update, the trunk's still open. Yeah, despite your public service message. Yeah. Oh, well, we tried. We'll you try. can't quite see it in here. No, but, you can't. But, but uh, moment of science doesn't have to do with trucks or trunks on cars. But, but it, yeah, it does have to do with cars indeed. And maybe not necessarily what you would first think of when we would be talking about cars in science. We've got that for you coming up next.